We begin tonight with the latest on a shooting that happened at a Jewish center in a Kansas City suburb yesterday. Authorities say they plan to charge the suspect in those shootings with a hate crime. They say they have enough evidence to prosecute Frazier Glenn Cross for hate crimes and the shooting spree that killed three people. Right after the shooting and his arrest, police say Cross was shouting, Heil Hitler. We have unquestionably determined through the work of local and, and federal law enforcement agencies that this was a hate crime. According to the Southern Poverty Law Center, Cross, who also goes with the last name Miller, at one time was a Grand Dragon in the Ku Klux Klan. At this time, he has not been formally charged in the killings. More details on the charges are expected tomorrow. In the wake of the shooting, the local Jewish community is feeling anxious. Tonight's the beginning of Passover. Also, Hitler's birthday is April 20th. Historically, this time of year is always tense for the Jewish community. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden spoke to a local rabbi to get her reaction to the shooting. Betsy. And I also went by one of the local synagogues to hear how they were feeling after this tragic shooting. And as you would expect, it dominated the conversation. And one thing each person had in common was that fighting anti-Semitism with education and issues surrounding hate. Sylvia Wygoda has dedicated her life to fighting anti-Semitism. For more than 30 years, she was the executive director of the Holocaust Education for the state of Georgia. Her father, a Holocaust survivor. Now, three people are dead after a shooting near Kansas City. It happened Sunday afternoon outside of a Jewish community center, and then a Jewish retirement home. Police are saying it could be a hate crime. And it starts with words, just like the the neo-Nazis use, and it escalates, and it escalates, and escalates until the top of the pyramid is Holocaust, is killing. Now, those anti-Semitic words are scheduled to come to Chattanooga next weekend for the National Socialist Movement rally. I hope people will ignore them. That's what they don't want, and that would um, help the most because what they want is attention. A local rabbi spoke with us as she prepared for tonight's Passover dinner. She's also choosing to ignore them. And, and to inspire people to not remain ignorant, not just about us as Jews, but about people. And again, there's just so much to feel blessed by and blessed for. And, and the world is so much better when everybody's happy as opposed to angry and filled with hate. She will be sitting down tonight with her family for the Festival of Freedom to remember the liberation of the Jewish people from Egypt and to pray for peace and that one day all people will love one another. And according to the Anti-Defamation League, there were 751 recorded anti-Semitic incidences in the U.S. in 2013, and that's down 19 percent from last year. Back to you.